What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are back again with another Love in Paradise, the Caribbean video. And this one is all about Shoreline and Kyle and Ariana at the same time. But before we get into it, let's start off by giving a big mass shout out to every single person that is a member of the channel, that is a member of Patreon, and that is a subscriber as we continue to grow. Now, when it comes to Sherline himself in particular, he's someone that made it abundantly clear in the most recent season of 90 Day Love in Paradise, the Caribbean, that he had no intentions of really and truly wanting to settle down with Ariana. In fact, he said that he has an issue with, well, basically being loyal. Commitment just isn't one of those things because he loves the life that he lives or being able to sleep around with as many women as possible and potentially even getting them pregnant and then not really caring about the fatherhood side, potentially, because to be honest with you, I still believe he's got tons of children around this world that he's obviously neglecting. But with that being said, though, we are now in a different situation where if you look on your screens right now, ladies and gentlemen, you can see that Shannon posted a picture of a lady and her hand has a ring on it. And it looks as if the man himself who claimed, who claimed highly that he was never going to commit anytime soon because he loved the freedom that he had. Well, it looks like literally within months after, well, about a month or so now, but obviously when, when it was filmed, or yeah, after months of filming or whatever, he's now in a situation where all of a sudden he has decided to commit to one, I was going to say lucky lady, but I'm going to say unlucky lady, because to be honest, the way he has behaved doesn't tell me that he knows how to actually be a man to, to just one woman. But hey, sometimes it's all just for TV, right? Either way, though, this is definitely a slap in the face of Ariana. And we know that Ariana and Sherlyn have been going back and forth on social media for some time now when it comes to their relationship that they were supposed to have in terms of the fact that he doesn't come to see his own kid. He doesn't FaceTime his own kid. And also the fact that people have alluded to the fact that or even Sherlyn has alluded to the fact that apparently Ariana stops him and blocks him from seeing his own child. But to be honest, I said it before, and I say it again. Unless this man is willing to pay the money to actually send over so he can look after his kid, unless this man's willing to pay the money to actually fly over and see his kid, or at least pay the money to at least fly his kid over to see him, if you ask me, I don't see no reason why she would be willing to want to allow him to FaceTime his kid or see his kid if he's not really making the full-time kind of, kind of commitments. And to be honest with you, I'm sick and tired of women in this world nowadays who are more than happy to just let a man walk all over him. Like, yo, if you're going to kill someone, you got to make sure that that guy is obviously doing what he's got to do. Even that lady's doing exactly what they need to do. When I say that, what I mean is, one, are they giving you money for your child on a weekly basis or a monthly basis, depending on the stuff you have? Two, is that money even enough? Okay. Three, are they actually prioritizing your, your child together? Do they make sure that you get a phone call every night or every other night to make sure that they're able to read something on the phone? There's so many things that you can do in today's society as well. Like in terms of actually becoming... Uh, um, um, when it comes to co-parent, do you know how easy it is nowadays? Because back in the day, you didn't have the you didn't have the uh, FaceTimes. You had the phone calls before. You didn't even have minutes in your phone. Unlimited minutes. Now you get unlimited minutes. It's not like you've got to top up your phone. Some people still do that, of course. But I'm saying we're in a world where, to be fair, if you got Wi-Fi at home, you don't even need minutes. You just Wi-Fi all of it. You see what I'm saying? So to be fair with you, I don't know why it's so hard for people to do a bank transfer to support their child able to ring and show their face to see the child and also at the same time to also pay for their child to come and see them vice versa but anyway 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 rant over Jordan is obviously now engaged by the looks of it he has now popped the question to a uh, very i guess lucky lady and um well i'm pretty sure ariana is not feeling too good about it right now but hey it doesn't really matter how she feels because they're not together what matters is is he actually going to step up to see his own kid and make communication? If you ask me now, now, now that he's obviously married or well, engaged someone else, the chance of him making even more effort to see his kid, that's probably gone now. He's probably one of those people who's like, I've got a lady now, I'm going to make a baby with you, and, and only us are going to be the family because there are so many people in this world that they go off, they have a kid with someone else, and they're like, this is my family. And any other kid they've had before, who are you again? Listen, I'm just your donor, mate. I'm just your donor. Not your father. I'm just your... You see what I'm saying? Anyway, you guys let me know what you're thinking down below and we'll talk about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and peace.